Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, my little four horsepower Aryan snowblower is back in the shop. It's uh, it's been running good, but it's just hard to start. <clears throat> so I think it's it's a flathead, and uh, over time um, the uh, valves just get closer and closer to the tappet, and eventually you need to do a valve grind on them. So that's what I think is wrong. I've been uh, I've been starting it with the electric start. I know it's only a four horsepower, but I and uh, it just takes a long time when it's cold to uh, get it started with the rope. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the uh, valves and see if they need to be set or ground a little bit. So let's just uh, put you up on the bench here. And uh, we'll get at her. I think it's this side. And I'll just get some tools and we'll get to it. Be right back. All right, so first we're going to disconnect the chute uh, adjuster. I knew that was going to happen. I know there was probably a washer on there. Okay, so now we're going to take the box off here. Yes, it is. Okay. Carry on, lads. Two quarter inch nuts. Tray. Everybody puts their stuff in something, that's the old guys, eh? Road King uses a little plastic dish. And uh, there's a there's a nut up top here. Five six feet. We're still taping, right? Yes. We're not taping, we're recording digitally. Good. So that box, it just heats the air around the carburetor to help it run a little bit better. And these don't have an air filter. Did you guys know that? That most snow blowers, because the air is pretty clean, snow blowers don't have an air filter. Right now. So our friends down in Texas that don't work on, uh, and in the south, that don't work on snow blowers a lot, that's probably a surprise for you guys, eh? So it looks like we're going to have to take off the carburetor and the muffler. Oh, well, maybe not the muffler, but the carburetor to get at this valve door. So we need uh, our old friend the hemostat. And I like I have two of them: one with a straight edge and one with a curved edge just to pinch off the gas line. Okay, I'll show you what I'm up to in a minute here. After I pretend to cuss. I do cuss, but I don't cuss online. Gee, stubborn little buddy. There, yeah, that's, that's cussing. Now we're going to drip some gas here for all my safety sallies up there. I'll put a little rag underneath here. No, we're good. Okay. Now, big Phillips screwdriver on the two muffler bolts. And at the same time, we'll just have to keep an eye 
on the linkage. So I'll just show you where we're at. Okay, carburetor. Hemostats closing off the gas line. There's our governor linkage right there. And the spring is in the top hole for the uh, retention on the governor. That's all we gotta know. That's all we gotta know. Eh? So now I'm gonna take the carburetor off from the intake manifest. If I remember correctly, I put anti seize on these bad boys. Just makes life better. Okay, so now we disconnect the carburetor. Isn't that sweet? Oh, tore the gasket. Son of a gun. Well, we'll have to either get a new one or make one. Next step. The little door for the valves. But I'm going to take the spark plug out. So the first thing we're going to do is check the uh, valves for valve lash or whatever you want to call it and if they're within spec we will uh, not do it and we'll just change out this intake manifold which might have been leaking causing us to run lean tonight. So 5 sixteenths. Hopefully we can save this gasket. King. Oh, we're good. So this is just a little breather for the valves. They, in the new machines now, they take this pipe back into the carburetor and burn those gases that get expelled out of there. So these older engines are, are kind of dirtier on the surface. the feeder gauge and we have to get the book out to find out what the valve clearance is so I'll be right back so I think the displacement on these engines is just uh, over eight so on all of these valve clearance says ten on both Ten thousandths. That's pretty general. Ten thousandths. But if it's between seven and twelve, I probably am not going to redo this. So let's uh, get the engine starting to turn over. Uh, this one is the intake, and this one is the exhaust. I can probably check the exhaust right now. Let's find a ten thousandths blade. I think it's this brass one here. Ten. 
Okay, let's see what we got. So the intake valve is open, so the exhaust valve should be relaxed. Oh, it's tight. And we have to do this. Okay, let's check the intake. I'll just show you what I'm up to. Some guys do these at top dead center, but I know I've done them if the other valve is open and it should be less slack on the other one. So if you see right there, the intake valve is going to close. Or, and then the exhaust valve should open, right? And then the intake. And then the exhaust. So now we'll check the intake. That one's good. So it's just the exhaust that check. We'll see what it is. It's usually the exhaust valve. So let's go down to five. Are you still? <laughs> Are you still? Let's go down to five thousandths and see if that. It's it's probably no gap in it at all. That's why it's bad. The probably the uh, valve is not closing, right? Here's five thousandths. No, nope, it's not. So let's go down to what's the smallest I got. Two thousandths. No, it's it's uh so it's not closing. The exhaust valve is not closing. So that with these old Tecumseys, that's a bit of work now because we have to take off the gas tank, we have to take off the shroud, we got to uh uh, take off the five or the eight head bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, that's up here. So this has to come off. The tank has to come off with the head bolts. They're all together. And then uh, with any luck at all, we'll get that head, head gasket off without wrecking it. But this is an old motor, right? So I was right in my calculation. So I'll be right back once I get organized. Okay, guys, we're back. I just undid a couple of the bolts on the shroud. I had to take the little starter off there. Now this is a starter switch. This stuff is old, eh? So we have to make sure we don't muck with it too much. So now, please forgive me, I'm going to use the ratchet, the air ratchet on the heads, on the head gasket. But I've it is a normal ratchet to start with, so we're going to do that. One, cross, cross, cross pattern, two. So now, just a little piece of cardboard. Now you don't have to do this, guys, but I like to. Just the same way the guys put on the cars do it. Come on. Oh, that's what we got the magnet for, right? Well, I wonder if they're different lengths or if they're all the same length. Oh, they're all different lengths. Good. Gas tank fell away. Good. And I think now we can uh, take the rewind off. It should just pull back. Good. And that, as it is so many of these old machines, they're in just great shape, eh? Look at that. Stuff that's not used. Now, the truth comes out. Can we get, oh yes, look at that. Another spacer. The head gasket looks perfect. 